Hey guys, and welcome to another Old vs. New, and this one is very exciting. Today we're taking a look at the old 2008 Ironmonger from the first Iron Man movie, compared to this new Marvel Legends Infinity Saga Ironmonger. And, uh, yeah, these guys are awesome. Um, I mean, both of them are really cool. This guy was just released in the standard Iron Man 1 toy line, and for just being like a standard release, he's bigger than the average figure. He's cool. Like, for his time, he was cool, but as you can see... He wasn't big enough. He wasn't cool enough. Um, but, I mean, come on. We're comparing, like, this was maybe, like, what, 15 bucks when it came out? And this guy's in, like, what, a $70 two-pack? Yes, I said two-pack. We have to talk about the second half of the pack before we even talk about this. And don't worry, I have something to compare him to. This is Obadiah Stane, the man that's inside the Ironmonger. But you may be wondering, there's not really an old Obadiah Stane you can really compare it to. Well, thankfully, um, <laughs> I got my hands on an incomplete different version of the Ironmonger, and I'll show this figure again. Um, but this came with an opening cockpit that had a little Obadiah Stane inside. <laughs> um, so yeah, I guess this is kind of like a two-in-one. Because I'm just going to compare the Obadiahs first, and like the head sculpts, and then we'll compare those two and I'll bring this figure back in. Because uh, this guy's pretty similar to that one in the back, but as you can see, there's like some color differences, some other differences. So yeah, let's look at this. <sighs> there we go. Let's look at this old one first. So yeah, this is uh, the 2008 Jeff Bridges head sculpt, and as you can see, he's very tiny. It's like that Master of Disguise thing when he was like a turtle. Gosh, why did I just remember that movie? That's awful. Anyways, yeah, um, he's got the springy head because he has the canopy that goes over it. But yeah, that's what they did for Jeff Bridges back in 2008. And uh, it's, it's passable. As you can see, it's really small. I guess it's a small toy in general. It's, you know, it wasn't really in scale with the Iron Man figures of the time. But the new one uh, looks great. Uh, number one, he comes with the arc reactor. That he like so kindly just borrowed from Tony Stark. It was a nice exchange. He was like, hey man, could I borrow that? And then Tony was like, sure, no problem. Um, then he comes with a suitcase too. Which you can open up. And inside is... Oh my goodness, is it fake money? Is it a million dollars? It's nothing. And it just folds too. It's just plastic hinges. It's seriously packed flat and then you seriously fold the plastic. So yeah, we'll see how long that lasts. Kind of reminds me of the Lego suitcases. That's how the old Lego suitcases worked. But yeah, he holds that fine. But this Jeff Bridges head sculpt is amazing. That looks exactly like the dude. That looks great. Oh my goodness. The face printing and everything. And it's just a typical Marvel Legends suited body. You know, standard articulation hinges. Double ball joint hinges the wrist. You can do that. The ties to separate parts. So that's nice. You know, it's, it's standard suited Marvel Legends. Nothing real special with the body. That's all it needs to be, though. It's just a suited Marvel Legends guy. But yeah, it's really nice to have an Obadiah stain in the collection. This figure is really nice. I spent too long just talking about Obadiah. Let's talk about the Ironmonger himself. Let's talk about the old one. So yeah, the old one, as you can see, the original version is like a really weird color of gray. With the different, like, the flip-up cockpit version... I do have the top part at least. You can see it's a nicer shade of gray. Honestly, I would recommend this one over this one for a couple of reasons. Of course, I don't have the front piece, but um, yeah, they're pretty similar figures overall. You can see they, I think they share similar limbs and body parts and sculpts. It's just different colors and a couple different articulation points. But yeah, I mean, for being as old as this figure is, it's not bad, man. Especially since it was still released in the basic line. Um, and as you can see, it definitely has some gimmicks. Like his arms. If you move his waist, the arms move up. And I feel like that's supposed to be linked with squeezing his legs, but unfortunately mine over the years has decided to stop working. So you have to rotate the waist for his arms to go like, yeah, I'll get you, Tony! Tony! Is it just me or does he say Tony odd in the movie? Tony! Uh, but yeah. Um, it's it's a cool figure, man. It's cool. You got the, the shoulder pads that are separate, so they don't really get in the way. He moved the arms up. He's got good articulation. He's got, like, double-jointed elbows still. Um, even though, really, it's just, like, a single joint that really does anything. But still, I mean, he gives you 90-degree bend. That's not bad. It's not bad at all. Then he's got wrist hinges. 
So, like, he's he's pretty poseable, man. He is, like... Uh, he wasn't really deemed Marvel Legends back in the day, but he's pretty poseable. Except for his hips. Because of that leg squeeze gimmick, all you can do is rotate that leg. But you can bend his knees pretty deep, so that's nice. And his ankles bend, so that's something. So, yeah, overall, he's not too bad. His detail's pretty flat. He definitely doesn't have the most detail in the world, and his color is still pretty odd. Doesn't really have a lot of paint on him and everything, so it's a little iffy. Thankfully, though, this version, which I hope to get one with the uh, the front piece at, at some point in my life. This one has some paint on it. It's definitely a nicer shade of gray. Um, and with this one, you actually have articulated hips. They can move, like, all the way forward. So, yeah, this is definitely the superior Ironmonger. If you decide to get an older Ironmonger... I would definitely get the one with opening cockpit. You cannot rotate the helmet, unfortunately. But other than that, man, it's definitely, you know, way far above superior. It's definitely a lot better. You can see the back, too, especially with the paint and detailing and everything. And the color. The color on this one's just kind of gross. I'm sorry, it just is. So, with all that, now let's see what modern engineering... A bigger size and a bigger budget gets you for an Ironmonger. In other words, this is one of my favorite figures of 2021, okay? I love this thing. So, let's begin. Accessories. He comes with fist hands. Um, he comes with two fists and two open hands. So that's something pretty cool. So he's got that going. Then let's just show those real quick to appease the people who need to see them with their eyes. He has this shoulder cannon which is really nice. You can kind of rotate that. You can clip it on the other side if you want. You can, you know, it does things. It's a shoulder cannon. And, awesomely, these are the coolest accessories by far. It comes with a blast effect, but not just a blast effect. It comes with an individual smoke effect. So if you just want the blast, that's cool. Or if you just, you know, want the smoke, you can do that. Or there's a hole in the smoke, you can do both which honestly makes the most sense. And you can have that. And you have this. All of the shells coming out. And you can see how they're, they start coming out straight, but then they start getting all wonky and falling. Oh man, that is such an awesome effect. That just plugs in. And then, without a doubt, mine will always be displayed like that. That is just sweet looking. That looks absolutely awesome. Like, wow. Wow. And then not to mention, this figure is absolutely enormous. Like, just showing it next to the old one again. Like, this figure is enormous. I did compare it. This guy is the same size as the Build-A-Figure Hulkbuster. Like, he is the same size. He's huge. Um, and you can see him next to Obadiah. Like, he is huge, man. I do not have the Mark III. I don't have the new Mark III to show just yet. So, you know, that'll that'll happen eventually. You know, I'll get that figure, I'll review it. But man, this Ironmonger. Oof. And, oh, what's that? Is that dislodged? Yes, it's dislodged because he has working pistons. Yes, he's got pistons, man. They do dislodge if you move the arm too much, but as you can see, like, he's got pistons in the shoulders and his shoulder pads. These can rotate and rotate and also slide out a little bit. You can slide them out all the way and plug them out. But, yeah. He's got, like, actual piston stuff going on. You can see it. It's amazing. Um, unfortunately, that piston doesn't do anything. That would have been kind of cool. Then his leg piston doesn't do anything. Again, that would have been cool. But, still. This this guy's super heavy. He's super chonky. He is such an awesome figure. And look at these details. Look at the sculpted texture on the armor. And he's got a clear piece in front of the arc reactor, too. It's a clear piece. That's really nice. Then his head, yes. It's getting close on the head sculpt. That helmet looks awesome. The white eyes look so good because how they actually did it, if you pop the head off, there's like a white inner piece and then the helmet goes around it. So that works ridiculously well. Um, man, look at the detailing. Like all the pistons on the inside of the thigh too. It looks so awesome. Like compared to the old one, Compared to the old one, the same detail. It's just, it's night and day. But then again, really basic figure from like 2008 compared to a brand new 2021 massive sized Marvel Legends. You know, it's going to be quite the difference. Oh man, all around, so much detail, so much texture. 
Such an awesome figure. So, let's go over his articulation. So his head is amazing. It's on a... Uh, that's a burp. It's on a double ball joint. So you can get it looking up, you can get it looking down. So you can have him like actually looking up when he's like, icing problem, and then he, you know, ices up. Then you can get some tilt out of it. But, more importantly, you can really get it looking nicely side to side. And that's really good. Especially since his waist is one of the best waists I've ever seen. It can crunch forward, it can go back, it can rotate, and has so much side to side tilt. Like, it's so awesome when you can, like, really get his head poking out and then have his torso like that. Then you can get his gun pointing forward so, like, he's still shooting. Then you can get his hand clawing at you. Like, man, he just looks so cool. It's awesome. Or you can have him arched back and then have his head down. Like, if he's sort of lunging back. Man, this he's so posable. He's so posable. His shoulders are on, you know, swivel hinge. And you do have to be mindful of this piston because I would say you can move it out pretty much up to there without it coming out. And you can move it like about there. You can see the plastic is starting to bend. It is a softer plastic, so you don't have to worry too much. But it will come out at some point. And they did design this, so this is on a ball joint and then that's on a hinge. So all you have to do is just kind of bend it back into place. And then there you go. Oh, it's also on a swivel too. That's also on a swivel. Um, you already saw the shoulder armor articulation. Bicep swivel. Single hinge at the elbow. It's actually less range than the original one, so keep that in mind. Um, ball hinge wrist, which work good. Already went over his awesome waist. His legs move forward pretty good. And then they move out to the side all right. Um, he does have a thigh swivel, and then this piece of thigh armor is actually separate from the uh, the hip right there. Single uh, ninja, single ninja, single hinge at the knee, ninja at the he. Oh my goodness, <laughs> that works good. Then his ankles move down, they move up, and he's got some pivot. So yeah, man, this new Ironmonger is something to behold. Is it one of my favorite Hasbro Marvel Legends Iron Armors? Hundred percent, love this thing. Now, granted, I'm a sucker for the big suits, like the Hydra Stomper. I cannot wait for that. Uh, like, I seriously cannot wait. And then this guy is just absolutely awesome. I mean, the old one's still cool, though. I'm not going to get rid of it. It still definitely has a place in my collection as being, like, the old Ironmonger. You know, it's, you know, it's the old toy of it. But you can definitely see there's, there's quite the comparison. Like, the old one was definitely undersized. You can definitely tell because of the Obadiah stain that was inside of this one. You can definitely tell it was undersized, so that's something to keep in mind. It wasn't really in scale to begin with, um, but this new one, it's massive. It still might not be in scale. It's way, it's big enough for me, man. It's big enough for me. Um, it's an awesome figure. Highly, highly recommended. Uh, if you're an Iron Man fan like I am, if you love the Iron Monger, you owe it to yourself to get this pack. It is expensive. It's a $70 pack, but if you think about it, you know, Obadiah for 20 he's a Marvel Legends, he's standard. And then, for how big this guy is, he's bath size. He is bath you know, heft, and he comes with accessories and everything. I think 50 bucks is not a bad price for the Ironmonger. I, I, don't, I think it's not bad. So yeah, guys, there we go. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know which one you prefer in the comments. Do you still really like the old ones, or are you totally like me and just 100% the new one is amazing and I love it? <laughs> Alrighty, guys. Thank you so much uh, to the patrons. Special patron shout out. Uh, you guys rock. Thank you so much for the support. Alrighty, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good one, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.